So this video is meant to demonstrate how to reset the administ or well to get rid of the administrator password on a Dell Optiflex 760, um, specifically when you want to install more than one hard drive. So this is what I ran into when I booted this and went to BIOS. So I'll just demonstrate really quick. Once I got to the, this screen, I selected System Setup to get to BIOS. And my main goal was to uh, set up the other SATA ports, the multiple SATA ports on the uh, motherboard. And what I ran into was some resistance. So um, I don't know if you can fully see here, but we are unable to activate the SATA ports on the motherboard and when we go to unlock we're met with a password. So this is one way that I um, finally figured out how to reset the password. So all you have to do turn off the PC and I'm just going to reposition the camera really quick And then you unplug the power. And we'll go ahead and open up the side panel. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the cover removed, we'll unplug the power cord from the power supply and if you see here right beside where the cables plug into the motherboard from the power supply there's a little blue tab sitting right there and you just have to pull that out it's a little tiny thing looks like that put that off to the side and we'll plug the power back in And we will boot, boot up the machine once again. Once I get this back in focus. Wonderful. Okay. So we'll boot the machine back up. And with any luck, you'll be receiving this exact dialog message. Okay, so now that the password is disabled, I'm going to Oh, again, unplug the tower, and we'll put the little blue tab, little, little blue jumper back in right on the motherboard. Okay. And now we'll plug back in, and we'll boot to BIOS to uh, demonstrate what it looks like once the password's gone. Okay, we'll enter system setup again. And there we have it. The password is removed. So now, um, so now I can go into drives and I can activate SATA 2, SATA 3, and we're good to go. I can go ahead and install 
up to three different hard drives on this tower now. Okay, so hopefully that helped you out. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below.